I found the 2022 Ram 2500 Bighorn with an added edition package. I just did a video on this beautiful granite crystal Laramie with an added edition package. And because these trucks are pretty similar, I'm not going to do a full walk around this. But what I will show you are just some of the differences just real quickly and some of the changes that they made to the Bighorn. So let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm going to show you the window sticker really quickly and then I'll show you guys around the truck for the interior and exterior and then I'll show you guys the payload as I always do. Let's get into it. This is going to be the window sticker for the truck we're going to review today. We're going to go through it pretty quickly so be sure to pause it. Uh, so as I mentioned this is going to be a 2020 Ram 2500 Bighorn. Base price is $47,800 and then just below is the standard equipment. It's a short listing and then just below that you have your optional equipment. Now one thing you're going to see is this truck has a lot of options on it. Uh, one option I do like is the premium lighting group, night edition, $28.95. And then it continues up top here with the black interior accents under that night edition. You have a level C equipment group for $4,200. And then that 6.7 Cummins is going to be your most expensive option. Uh, this has a nine speaker Alpine and it has a 12 inch display. One thing I'll tell you is if you are looking at a Bighorn or if you're planning on building one from the factory, if you're trying to save money to not have to step up to a Laramie, a really bad idea to do is to put a bunch of options on a Bighorn to try to save money. Sometimes a lot of things that you have to opt for on this truck, you can get standard on the Laramie. The only exception is if you don't want leather seats, I understand you picking the Bighorn, but be careful on the options because the more options you put on a truck like this one, it's going to depreciate a lot quicker. And just to give you perspective, this truck is only $6,135 cheaper than the Laramie that I reviewed uh, probably about three or four videos ago. So just keep that in mind. A notable change that they did for the Bighorn is this front grill. So they did update the front grill on the Bighorn trucks and it has a really nice bold look to it now it doesn't look upscale it does look kind of cheap in comparison with Laramie the Laramie has like more of a painted uh, look to it but it definitely does look updated so I like the way it looks this does have optional LED headlights too and the night edition is going to pretty much black out emblems headlights paint bumpers paint grill black out the wheels and i do like this grill I, I hope that i'm not saying i don't it does look a lot more updated for 2022 but i don't know it just yeah it's just a new grill design i guess that's the best way to put it now you can get a silver package too which would give you chrome hooks which only normally come available on like the limited longhorn and limited trims but this does have the black ones. You do see you have the parking sensors even on a Bighorn. So you do get those features. However, a lot of things that you see on this truck will be optional, okay? So as you saw on the window sticker, you can kind of decipher what things you want and don't want just to kind of get a better idea of what will work for you. Now, one thing I can show you right out of the gate is the fact that this truck does not have fender flares. I personally do like the truck with fender flares. And here's just a good comparison there uh, the truck doesn't look bad without them but those fender flares do add a nice appearance to the side of the truck and Del Monaco Red I mean this is like a fan favorite I think this truck does have the clearance lamps which is an option for both trucks too but yeah definitely you can tell that with the night edition package it makes this truck look like a laramie and that's what i like about this night edition i mean it really does dress up the truck it gives it a bigger wheel this does have the bilstein shocks and everything because it has the off-road package so it's going to ride it slightly better too and you can delete this decal if you don't want it to i personally would delete this off the truck but yeah you can do that from the factory if you do decide you want to order this truck now i will say you cannot get an addition for the Laramie. I'm not sure if it's the same for the Bighorn, so you might have to do some research there because they do not make it available to order right now for the Laramie, for whatever reason, I don't know. Now this truck does have the rear parking sensors down below. Something new for 2022 is they do give you a camera input for your trailer. Now this truck doesn't have it, I'm sure it's optional. 
So you just keep in mind if you like that feature. Four pin, seven pin, class five receiving hitch, parking sensors, and you do have those blacked out emblems on the rear. And as I mentioned, just around the tail light is black, and then right here, that's all the only parts of it that they pretty much black out. There is a backup camera, and it does have an optional dampened tailgate too, so just keep that in mind. And a spray bed liner, fifth wheel prep package, and then you have your plugs, four and seven pin, and you have that plug for the bed too. You do not have the high mount with the camera, although it is optional for the rear view mirror to have the HD um, view. And of course for your fifth wheel prep package, if you would like to use that to hook up your trailer, there is a camera view for that too. Del Monaco Red is a really pretty color. I'm not a huge fan of red paint personally, but I do like it on this truck. Now you can get painted running boards, as you see here, That's these are the painted ones. However, if you are big into appearance, I strongly recommend you take these to a shop that can PPF them because this part right here, the running board, is gonna get scratched up. So you might wanna wrap this, that way it doesn't look bad within a year's time of usage, okay? I forgot to mention this does have a coiled rear suspension. It's a five link coiled suspension. It does have availability for air suspension. I did hear that in order to get air suspension, you have to get the Cummins. I was not aware of that. So that might be a change for 2022. So just keep that in mind. You do have a solid front axle up front. And this is definitely a good package for what you're getting. You do not have smart key system. However, you do get that standard on the Laramie. So just keep that in mind. As far as the interior goes, this is a well-appointed interior for this just being a step up from the Tradesman. So it goes Tradesman, then Bighorn. So you do not have the availability for leather. So that's probably the only downside for some people. However, you can get heated seats in this truck and you can get a heated steering wheel that is available with a specific package. You also have a power driver's side seat. However, that passenger seat will be manually operated. And when you look around the interior, I mean, for the most part, you can see that the interior is definitely kind of a step down. However, it is a well-appointed interior for again, this being a step up from the base level for the Ram. Now when you step in, you do have a really nice uh, layout for your cluster. Now keep in mind, this seven inch screen is an option even for the Bighorn as well as this 12 inch display. Actually, the 12 inch display is pretty much optional for even the Laramie too. Now when you step up from the Tradesman, they do give you a cover for this, it says Bighorn. And for the most part, I mean, the interior is not much different from what you saw in the Laramie. It's definitely really on par. However, you do not have LED lights inside of here. Although this truck's in ship mode, so most of the things in here are not going to work. And yeah, I mean, the, the, the interior is just not as nice as you would see inside the Laramie. But for the most part, you still get a lot of the same comfort features that you would come to expect. As I mentioned, the heated seats and steering wheel is available. You still have a bunch of USBs, including inside of here too. And you have a ton of storage. Power plug down below. And yep, there's one back there with more USB. So you have basically eight USBs in total. Type A, Type C, four beats basically. But one thing I will say is when you do step inside of the Laramie, I think that you just get a little bit more things standard. So with a Bighorn, you have to be careful with this truck because you can easily make this truck expensive enough to be almost a Laramie. So you just have to figure out if you don't want leather seats and you don't care about a lot of these nicer techie features, I would say skip them on this truck to keep your price point down. As far as the rear seat goes too, you do have a 60-40 bench and you do have that tray that does pop out too. This may be optional too, so just keep that in mind. And you do not have the availability to heat these rear seats. However, you do have an option inside of the Laramie to make these rear seats, just the outboard seats, heated too. They do give you some hooks up top 
and this does have that nine speaker alpine too so that's why you see those uh speakers on the roof here so you do have a nicer sound system too although i've already shown this to you you know here are just some of those options as i mentioned earlier that premium lighting for 795 it is only available with that level c package which is four thousand dollars so you're gonna have to spend five grand to get led headlights which kind of stinks And as I mentioned, that nine speaker Alpine. Now let me show you guys something real quickly. So on this interior, you see how the speaker surround is basically black. Even on the front ones too, you just have a black surround. If you look at the Laramie, check this out. They do put like a silver accent around it and it just makes it look a little bit nicer. I mean, again, that's just a small detail, but it's just little things like that. Some people prefer to have that. But as you saw inside of the Bighorn, they do give you that, it's like not the same design, but like a brighter silver color around like the air vents. The door handles are like a silver color too. So it does still have a pop of accents inside to make it look upscale. Something else I noticed too inside the Bighorn is they do not give you these lights below the seat too. So these do come in handy. It puts a little bit of light on the floor here for your rear occupants but otherwise there's not much difference as you saw like i said this truck has the usbs and the plug just like you saw in the bighorn the only difference is it did not have the heated seats in the rear all right so one thing i found disappointing on this bighorn was really just the capacity for the payload so let's take a look at the numbers real quickly so as far as the gross axle weight rating up front goes, it's 6,000 pounds. The gross axle weight rating in the rear is going to be 6,040 with a 10,000 pound GVWR. And all in, this truck has a 2,049 pound payload. Now, if you remember, that Laramie I did a review on actually had a 1,998 pound payload capacity. So that's basically. 51 pounds that's the difference in these two trucks now this truck has leather seats it has power deployable steps so these might be a little bit lighter than these uh fixed running boards but it does have fender flares which probably don't add much more than maybe maybe five pounds when you add them all up together maybe not probably probably about that and yeah i mean these trucks are almost identical in weight so having a little bit more features at a probably about the same price point i'll put the price point here to compare both of them but you have to really do your research if you're going to buy a bitcoin and you really 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 want the night edition package i would say skip the led lights i would probably maybe even skip that expensive level c package i think it was that way you can get this truck a little bit less in price and really kind of compete more with like the payload capacity and make it maybe a couple hundred pounds lighter than this truck is so just keep that in mind but on that note i hope this was helpful like i said i didn't want to do a huge comparison between the two trucks but i wanted to just show you some definite things that stick out to me on the differences of them but yeah be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon